Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for June 2nd. So, we are just going to see what comes up. This reading may or may not be for you, and the timing is fluid. So, June 2nd. I know I have two more Junes to come out. Please be patient. They are coming. Life seems to be crazy, like crazy busy, so please bear with me. What do we got for June 2nd? This is just an overall energy that we're getting right here. <laughs> Don't you love it when that happens? Well, <laughs> This is a rude awakening now, isn't it? Quite a shock. Not. Mmm. Well, we got a rude awakening coming. Hip, hip, hooray. Life change. Something big. Something's about to crumble. Something's about to crash. Wow. Here it comes. Here it comes. King of Cups. Page of Cups reversed. Hierophant. Hmm. Page of Wands reversed. Queen of Cups reversed. Somebody's probably receiving a message. It's not good news. All right. Whatever it is, it's not good news with those two pages reversed. Might not. It might not be what you want to hear. It might not make you happy. It probably isn't going to make you happy. It's probably, it may, may make you feel very emotional. You may not be able to, you know, hold back your tears or hold back your feelings or whatever. It could, make, it's, it could be very, you know, cause somebody to, you know, it could be very intense, put it that way. Now, the Hierophant is a card of faith, it's a card of believing, it's a card of trust, it's a card of truth. Hmm. Maybe you saw this coming. Maybe in, you know, inside you knew this was coming. This is your inner guide. This is, this is the teacher, this is your... Your inner guidance. And this is very intuitive energy as well. So somebody may have seen something coming and now here it is. Well, there is definitely going to be a message that is coming in that you probably don't want to hear. And that it's, it's whatever this message is, it's the truth. Okay, it's an honest message. It's a truthful message, but it's it's a conflicting message, okay? It's not the message that you want to hear, all right? Truth hurts. The truth does hurt. So whatever this is, it, it might hurt. I'm just being honest with you. I mean, when when something comes crashing down that you have been holding on to that isn't good for you, it usually hurts. It's usually intense. It usually doesn't feel good. It's not easy. Change isn't easy. And whatever this is, it doesn't look like it's going to be easy. And I don't even have the rest of the cards yet. But this card is saying to have faith. Believe. Believe that things don't work out for a reason, all right? Trust that that is the case. That there is a higher plan. There is a higher power at play. This is a universe card, and this is a higher power, the Hierophant. 
there's a higher power at hand as to why something, you know, needs to be removed from the, from the situation. We got somebody here that has lacked focus. They've lacked concentration. They haven't been taking steps in the right direction. And the universe is like, oh, come on. When are you going to wake up? When are you going to wake up? You're not going to? Let me help you. So there's going to be some upheaval. Upheaval is on the horizon. Somebody has been allowing themselves to stay in a, you know, victim mentality. Allowing themselves to be a victim of their circumstance because of their own insecurities, unable to face their insecurities, unable to ask for help, unable to step outside of their comfort zone. I don't know. Yeah, somebody's been holding on to something because it felt like it was stable. Resisting change, right? Ten of Wands reverse. This is a card of personal freedom. Somebody's about to be broken free from a heavy situation that has been weighing them down, that has been keeping them trapped, that has been overwhelming them. This is breaking free. Balance is waiting. This is, this is a card of, like, collapse. And this is collapse as well. Something is about to collapse. Can't be held on to anymore. It's not stable. It's not solid. It wasn't built strong for some reason. It wasn't built to last. And somebody's intuition has been speaking to them. And you, they probably know. Somebody probably has, has seen this coming. But probably avoiding it. Definitely avoiding it. Trying to avoid the truth of it. Trying to avoid the disaster. Trying to avoid the upheaval. Trying to avoid the change. <sighs> Keeping to themselves, you know, just, you know. I know this is coming, but I'm just going to keep it to myself and wait for something to happen. Well, I think the waiting is just about over. If your intuition has been speaking to you and it has been telling you that something is about to change or that something is about to um, cause a major shake up in your life or if you've if you've seen some had some like deja vu or you've had some thought and it's like you know something is coming you're right <laughs> you are absolutely right we have somebody here that is mastering their emotions and they're about to ready to speak their truth I feel like this person has been waiting for the right moment. They have been watching. They have been observing. They've been calculating their next move. They may have um, left somebody out in the cold. Or they're about to. They may be about to leave somebody, you know, they might be able to, they may, they may do that. They may do that. Either they're going to, they could ghost somebody or they have ghosted somebody, you know.
are dealing with somebody who really lacks emotion. This person is negative. This person has been negative. This person has been, you know, not thinking on the bright side, thinking more on the negative side. You could be dealing with a negative individual. somebody here. I mean, this is somebody who is very pessimistic. Could be somebody that's mean-spirited. Somebody that is confused and doesn't know what their heart wants. Doesn't know which direction to go. Very indecisive. On one hand, wants to go this way. On the other hand, wants to go that way. But now they're ready to move in a new direction. We do have somebody here that is moving in a new direction. It's like they've had this period of reevaluation. They've received some inner guidance or they received some message from above. Well, that's what's happened here. It's time to go. It's time to it's time to move in a new direction. It's time to move on. It's time to go this way. It's it go. It's time to go. Yeah, somebody's been blocking their truth. They've been in denial. They've been blocking their true feelings. They've been guarding themselves. Sitting on the fence. Divided loyalty. What should I do? Should I go this way or should I go that way? What should I do? Same thing. Blocking. They've been, it's like they've been blocking change. They've been blocking their heart, blocking, because we've got the page of cups here. They've been blocking their true feelings. Oh my God, can you believe that? Why would somebody do something like that anyway? Somebody has been blocking their true feelings. But now I think they're about to take action. I do see that. I think we got somebody here that's about to take action. They got this new vision. They have. I got to take action. It's like they got this newfound confidence in some way that, you know, I want happiness. <laughs> Nine of Cups. This is, this is wish fulfillment. I want to have it all. I think we have somebody here that is moving in a new direction. They have been in denial, but now they're going to take action because they see an opportunity to have it all. This is the Nine of Cups. But to have it all, a big, huge life change is needed. Something needs to be removed. And the only way, only way to remove it is to speak the honest truth. And I think this honest truth is going to be, it may, it may cause other people unhappiness, okay? Could be, there could be children involved. There could be children that don't like it. There could be family members that don't like it. There could be a, a spouse that doesn't like it, you know? I think we have somebody here that is probably in a contract with somebody that, you know, they don't want to be in a contract with anymore. Somebody may have been, you know, blocking change because of potential legal issues. Legal matters. Holding on just for the stability of it. Or holding on just for the children. But I think there's a message coming or a message has come. That somebody is moving on because they have been divinely guided to do so. They may have, they may have an offer from somebody else that is more emotionally fulfilling to them. Somebody who actually is emotionally available. Somebody who is open for love, whatever. Yeah. I 
I think we have somebody that has decided to do what's right for them. I gotta do what's right for me. And I don't care what everybody else thinks. It's like all the rest of you can just, you can accept it. Or you don't have to be a part of my life, you know. I mean, I think we got somebody here that has made a decision. I'm going to do it. I'm going to follow my heart. And if the rest of you don't like it, tough shit. This guy's like pushing others away. I'm going to do what, what's right for me. My heart, I'm going to follow my heart. It's time for me to move in this new direction towards my true desires, my wish fulfillment. I think we got somebody here that has, sees an attractive opportunity and they may have been blocking their true feelings. I don't know. Because of previous commitment, because of a previous marriage or a previous commitment or whatever. And now it's like the universe has stepped in and they're, they're like, you know what? You can't avoid this anymore. It's time for you to honor your truth. Wake up. Speak the truth. Stop living this in this circumstance that... makes you feel so alone that causes you to beg for attention that causes you to be victimized allows you to be, allows yourself to be victimized i think we have somebody here that is moving in a new direction it's like they're they're transitioning out of one phase King of Pentacles reversed. <laughs> we got somebody here who has been lacking discipline. They've been clinging to control. They haven't been realistic. They haven't been grounded. We have somebody here that hasn't really been focused on love underneath it. They've been in denial. Or they've been lying, or they haven't been telling the truth, or they've been blocking, they've been blocking their true feelings, or they've been blocking love. But you can't, you know, when they see love, it's it's big love. It's I see love. There's love here. There's love here. I see love. This is love. So I think we got somebody here that is moving, and you know where I put it. I'm going to do what's right for me. I don't care who likes it. I am moving towards love. I want to have it all. So we got somebody here that is making a move towards love. I think that this person has been watching them, but they've been waiting for the moment. They may be giving a message to other people. That's where the bad message is. It's like they may be giving another a message to other people that, you know, I got to do what's right for me. I can't, I can't not follow my heart. Somebody is making a conscious change to go after this beautiful opportunity. This is a dream come true. This is wish fulfillment, the Nine of Cups. It is. It's an opportunity to have it all. The happy home, abundance, tender loving care, the, everything. It's like there's an opportunity. Somebody is making a conscious change. It's like they see the, you see, they, they see this guy sees it. I see this opportunity is huge. It's like they know with the high priestess. I know this is, this is, this is an opportunity to have it all. So anyway, I feel like we got somebody here that is about to make a big move. Massive change. That's what this is. Massive change. Somebody has been awakened to love. I, you know, this is love. It's big. It's beautiful. It's real.
So yeah, that's what I got. So that's what I got. I don't think I need any more cards. It is what it is. I see love. It is. I mean, somebody is receiving a message or somebody is moving. Maybe maybe this person is just deciding I'm moving out of this false commitment. I'm moving out of this false foundation because I see a bigger, better opportunity for love. And I want to hold on to it. I, I want to hold on to this love. I don't want to let it go. So I think we have somebody that sees an opportunity. I think this is a new opportunity. I do. And this isn't the choice right here, choosing between two paths. This is the divided loyalty. Loyalty. Somebody has been reluctant to make that choice. But I feel like they are making that choice. I think the choice is being made. A decision is being made. And I think the universe has stepped in and given somebody some sort of I don't know. This is universal help. The tower is universal help. And I think it's through through the inner guide with the with the hierophant and the high priestess. This is this is internal guidance, okay? It's like somebody has received the message. It's time to move on. The message, it's time to move on. It's time to unblock. It's time to open up. It's it's time. It's time for you to go after love. I mean, this is big love. So that's what I got. Whoever this person is, this person has good intentions. They do have good intentions. This person is, is doing what's right for them because it's what their heart wants. And they're, they probably have to let somebody go. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. What is the outcome though? I mean, that's kind of what I want to know. Don't you? What is the outcome? What should we do here? Let's get a couple of these. What is the outcome? Well, I don't know. Maybe we should use one of these. <laughs> I don't know what deck to use. What is the outcome? Oh, beautiful. Couldn't get any better than that. Victory. Following your heart leads to victory. Look, it's gold. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Good luck. <laughs>